Thank you, Bob. The mother of a promising young software engineer talks to WJZ after he was murdered Monday in Glen Burnie. WJZ is live. Paul Kessler with what his mother and friends have to say to the judge who denied a peace order Hudson hoped to get for the man now charged with his murder. Paul. Hi, Vic. Yes, this was the order that was denied two months ago. Now his mom says the courts failed her and her son. Tyreek T.J. Hudson's mother describes this week as a nightmare. I keep repeating, I want my baby. I just want my son. I want my baby. Just 22, Hudson had recently graduated from North Carolina A&T before starting a job at Northrop Grumman in Annapolis. His boss there described him as a promising engineer with enthusiasm and a willingness to help anyone. Incredulous to know that someone like him uh, could be taken away from us in, you know, a twinkling of an eye. Uh, so sadness certainly uh, befalls me. Hudson was murdered Monday in Glen Burnie, police say, by his downstairs neighbor, James Vierenbeck, a neighbor from whom Hudson had sought protection. I've never known him to have any confrontation, any fight. Court documents show in February Hudson filed for a peace order after he said Vierenbeck threatened him. That peace order was ultimately denied by Judge Debbie Patterson Russell, citing Hudson could not meet the burden of proof. I feel like they have failed my son. They failed me. He had a bright and promising future. That could have saved his life uh, had he been, you know, you know, given that restraining order and more action could have been taken. Uh, that could have very well saved this young man's life. But you know, now he's gone, and uh, somebody needs to be held accountable. That. The judge who denied that order is on a temporary assignment in Anne Arundel County as the state's Court of Appeals considers whether she should be suspended. Late last year, the Commission on Judicial Disabilities recommended Judge Russell be suspended six months. The courts in Maryland, uh, somebody who is in positions of authority needs to answer uh, questions to his family. Back live now, Hudson's funeral service will be next Saturday, April 27th, in his hometown of Wilson, North Carolina. For now, we are reporting live, Paul Gessler for WJZ.